and to, you know, probably all those athletes that take head injuries, but um, there's people who's played with him that said that he's had issues well beyond, you know, like football. So, and then, you know, I don't know. But the thing I'll say is, you know, Jose Baez, the attorney for him, he's known for just doing things like this. And he's all about the bottom line and trying to make the dollar. So it, it, it's just walking a slippery slope. Hmm. Everybody wants me shot, man. If you want to go ahead and shoot me, you can. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm all I'm good. I'm just going to do it anyway because I, I got to do it anyway, man. Because of your first comment. Hey. Let's let you get that out of the way, man. But anyway, there you go. You getting exploded yep. on a bomb. <laughs> That's right. He gets the bomb, y'all. I ain't shooting him. His ass is getting freaking the damn North Korean missile on his ass. That's what he got. The North Korean missile explosion on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got bombed off the show. That's right. That's how we do it around here. Get a gun. Drop the bomb on him. <laughs> and how Mob D said, drop that bomb on him. Anyway, yeah. That's that's how that's how we do it. Um and uh good night, Tiffany P and P. She says she's wait a minute, Tiffany. How hear you wait a minute now. It's nine forty five here. That means it's six forty five where you at. Six forty five. Okay, maybe you you know work or something like that. I'm like definitely ain't good night. Those people just saying peace. Okay, you said three, three, four said good night. Well, it ain't good night for her. But anyway, she has gotta handle some more business. You know what I mean? <laughs> J Fizz, did you say my gun game is weaker than the Giants offensive line? You know what I mean? You... <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, three, three, four said I was in the elevator and talking shit to a killer. Aaron Hernandez could have got me. <laughs> you right, man. The dude, the dude might not have had the right marbles, man. For real, it could have been something that snapped in him. Like you intimidate him. I know three, three, four. You, you a big dude, and you know what I'm saying you, you shit. You about Aaron Hernandez size up in there. You know what I'm saying you all up in up in his atmosphere. So he could have been a little intimidated by you and shit. Like oh. Dude made me snap because he looked at me crazy. You know what I mean? So it's a possibility. It's a possibility that it could have happened at that time, but it didn't. So, you know, I say, I say, count your blessings, man. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, um, what else? 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 Man, how they gonna be talking about my my exploding, man? Explosions. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> they first said I use a, a slingshot. Hey, whatever, man. That's them bombs out there, man. I be dropping bombs on them, man. I drop them bombs on them. Um. Next next topic is the little league players, man. Let me let me go into this one here. This one right here is a little crazy. Purnell, that's it, baby. That's it, Grego. Purnell. Adrian Purnell. Look up Adrian Purnell, y'all. A D R I A N N E. Purnell. P U R N E L L. Atlanta Steam. She might not have an N E on it. It might be just A D R I A N. But listen. She's the truth, brother. Okay, so she don't have any. So it's A D R I A N. Pernell's P U R N E L L. Greg, put it in the chat. Google it. That's what I'm saying. She is the tight end and, 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 and safety for the Atlanta Steam. No joke. And she will knock your head off. She'll knock a dick in the dirt. That's right. She do. She hits hard. Definitely. Definitely hits hard. No joke. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Back to what I was actually about to speak about was the Little League team kneeling. There was a Little League team, mostly black team, out of... Touchdown Los Angeles, y'all. So now it's 
Uh, Little League team out of, they're called the Cahokia Youth Football Team out of Illinois. So, let me break it. Let me break down how this went down. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm taking an excerpt from my boy, Chuck Hobbs. Shout out to my man, Chuck Hobbs. Attorney Chuck Hobbs out of Florida. Morehouse brother, class of 94. He actually had an article where he wrote on it. And I was looking at his article because I saw the headline, but I actually read his article, which had a perspective on it. Uh, But what he said here was interesting because he said, Yesterday, I did what I rarely do and weighed into the comment section of several news posts about the predominantly black Cahokia youth football team in Illinois that decided to kneel during the Star Spangled Banner to protest, protest police brutality against black people. The team, composed of eight year old boys, came to this decision after discussing with their coach, Orlando Gooden, the demonstrations this past week in St. Louis following the acquittal of white police officer Jason Stockley. One who killed a 24-year-old black man, Anthony Lamar Smith, and planted a gun in Smith's car after a high-speed chase to justify his murderous actions. So Chuck actually went on to say, as you would expect, the comments from angry white readers range from those devoid of logic. Those black kids are learning to be the real racists to the typical Anglo-American bigotry. If they don't like it, they should go back to Africa. Or, I bet they have no daddies to teach them any better. Or, future felons. To the standard keyboard patriot chatter, the coach is teaching them to hate America. So, that's what I got from a man, Chuck Hobbs. (laughs) These... mm, mm, mm. Y'all know I went over the edge last week. I actually took it high level, high strung. And I could do it again at any point in time. But I'm going to keep it even keel here because I can discuss this without turning it up a notch. So I'm going to try my best to without going there. These kids exercised their right, just like Colin Kaepernick, their right to kneel during the Star Spangled Banner based upon some... Inequality is being shown in the judicial system based upon some prejudices shown in the police department, in the judicial system, and based upon some irrational actions, based upon some old police utilization, based upon A damn problem that we got in this country. Police need training on how to deal with situations here. Police need to be held accountable for their actions and not being dismissed, hands patted, smack hands being smacked for a situation where they need to serve some time as a murderer. It doesn't make sense. So anyway, these little... I said I wasn't going high strong. These kids kneeled because they saw an issue with the verdict in St. Louis. Another Midwest state. I mean, another Midwest city in the state of Missouri, which is near Illinois. But they saw issues and they voiced their opinion And they decided to silently protest by kneeling for the national anthem. But yet, our high and mighty Americans who decide to comment on the internet, because it is the internet, and anybody can say whatever they want to. So, yes, free speech. But the comments of saying future felons, future felons, because they are exercising the right, future felons, Go back to Africa. They probably don't have any fathers at home. Seriously? Is that where we're going to? Is that the type of rhetoric and ill-timed, ill-mannered discussions that you would have on 
a story about some little league football players, some kids. You had the nerves to say future felons about some damn. Oh, I'm sorry about some damn kids. About some kids. That doesn't make any sense at all. This country is going to hell in a handbasket. It makes no sense. If you look at any story, any story that has anything to do with something where we are in protest or we're in opposition of an outcome and we, we, we have something to say, and you look at the comments, it's always something so polarizingly racial in it that we are... Coons, we deserve this. Go look at you, monkeys. Some something about Obama. You know what I'm saying? The regular rhetoric. It's it's almost funny as hell. Uh, it's sad because it angers me, but it's funny as hell the audacity of you putting that crazy comment in the comment sections of a story, which is ill timed, ill willed, ill mannered, ill advised, just ill. It doesn't make any sense for you to have called these kids out of their name. For you to assume, for you to assume that these kids don't have a father at home because they are protesting. It doesn't make any sense. Let me see. My man 334 said something. He said, like I said before, us, yes, 334, I've seen he's a highly decorated guy. Served in the military. He said, us that served in the military, if we did a piece of the shit the police do, they would try our ass. Yes. 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 Doesn't make any sense. Does my man 334 who... Does my man 334 who served in the military, does he feel that he, that he is being disrespected by some kids kneeling to the anthem? Does he feel that way? Three three four. Um, look, the number is four four seven three five zero six zero two. The line is open, brother. Call if you desire. I don't know if you want to talk about it. If you do, I love to hear your opinion. What up, Big L? Another ex squad affiliate who's up in the place. Shouts out to him. The number is four four seven three five zero six zero two. If you can call in three three four, I would like to hear your point. Being a Military veteran like yourself, and <laughs> Greg was saying, Kesey wants y'all to call in. I want whoever to call in, but I, I definitely want to talk to 334 about this topic here because of the fact that he's a military guy, he doesn't feel slighted, he wasn't, he doesn't feel slighted, <laughs> Grego. You was appreciated until you, until you put the spin on the story about the Patriots, he doesn't feel slighted. He may feel a certain way about lack of, no, I didn't even say that. Not even patriotism because, you know, this country is fickle and it, it's, he's done his time. He served his country. He did what he did and, 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 and he's out. So that's how it went down. Um, I have another partner. My man Rasmus, I don't know if he's listening yet or in, but he's actually a uh, federal officer now. I think he's in the, I don't know, something to do with the transportation, federal transportation uh, board, association, administration, federal transportation, administration, FTA, whatever they call it. So he's a federal officer, but he also, he also served time in the military. He served time in the military. And last year we went to the Stews. Um, what do you call it? Went to the Stews tailgate party on a Sunday. The flag the national anthem was sung. He himself, he actually stood and you know stood at attention as the 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 the, the anthem played, and that's just what he did because he's in the military. But even he. Has no problem with you protesting how you going to protest. That's just what he does. You know what I'm saying? Him being a, a former military guy. And that's his thought process on it. But he is not 
he ain't gonna